Form GSTR 9 is an annual return which is to be filed once for a particular financial year. It is to be filed by the registered taxpayers who were regular taxpayers any time during that financial year. Before filing this return, you should ensure that you have filed all Form GSTR 1 and GSTR 3B returns for the applicable period on the GST portal. Once filed, Form GSTR 9 cannot be revised. Let's see how to file this return in this video. Log in to the GST portal with your credentials and from your dashboard screen, either click the Annual Return button or go to Services, User Services and click the Annual Return link. Both these actions will take you to the File Annual Returns page. Select the financial year from the drop-down list and then click the Search button. Carefully read the displayed messages. This style is meant for filing GSTR 9 annual return and displays the due date by which it can be filed. Click the Prepare Online button in the GSTR 9 tile and this questionnaire gets displayed. If you want to file nil return, select Yes. Otherwise, as No is auto-selected, click the Next button. The GSTR 9 annual return for normal taxpayers page is displayed. Note that in this video, we are filing the return of the financial year 2017 to 2018 for the period July 1st, 2017 to March 31st, 2018. Here also, read the important messages carefully. GST system will calculate Form GSTR 9 values in different tables based on Form GSTR 1 and Form GSTR 3B that you have already filed. Click these buttons to download the system generated summaries of these forms. You can easily check and compare details given in these PDFs with your records before entering data in the relevant tiles displayed on this page. Tiles 4, 5, 6 will be auto-populated with data you had filed in Form GSTR 1 or Form GSTR 3B during the relevant financial year. If required, you can edit it as well. Let's see how. Click Tile 4. Tile 4 data fields are displayed. You can click the Help link to view instructions related to entering data in these fields. Edit the tax details of the supplies if required. Also note that as mentioned here, if your edited details are more or less than 20% from the auto-populated values, those cells would be highlighted in red for your attention. Rows H, M, N will get auto-calculated based on your edited values. Once you have entered details on this page, click the Save button. Click Yes on this confirmation pop-up. Click the OK button on this Success pop-up. Then, click the Back to GSTR 9 dashboard button to go back to the Form GSTR 9 page where the Tile 4 now displays the updated tax details. Similarly, you can edit data in Tile 5 and 6. Let's now go to Tile 7. Here, you can enter the details of ITC reversed under various provisions as indicated against respective rows or ITC ineligible during the financial year. In row H1, you can enter description of other reversals not specified and you can add the additional rows if more than one such unspecified reversal entries are to be entered. You can also delete the additional rows. Click Save and go back to Form GSTR 9 page. Similarly, you can edit or enter details in the rest of tiles, tiles 8 to 18. Note that in this tile, you need to enter details of amendments in value or tax and ITC availed related to the previous financial year's transactions which were reported in next financial year. And in tile 17 and 18, 
You can add HSNY summary of outward and inward supplies respectively if applicable. Once you have entered the required details in all tiles of Form GSTR 9, click the Preview Draft GSTR 9 PDF button to download and review the summary of entries. You can also click the Preview Draft GSTR 9 Excel button to download the same summary in Excel format. This will generate a link below the button. Click on the generated link to download the file, extract and open the Excel file to review the summary. Once you are satisfied with all the entries and are ready to file Form GSTR 9, click on the Compute Liabilities button for computation of late fees, if any, of filing this form beyond the specified date. It will display this message on top of the screen. Click the Refresh button. Once the data is processed completely and without error, the status gets updated to Ready to File and this Ready to File message is displayed as well. Additionally, you'll notice that now Tile 19 gets enabled and updated with the applicable late fee, if any. Click this tile. Cash balance as on date in electronic cash ledger is displayed. If you don't have sufficient cash balance to pay the balance late fee, Create Chalan button will be enabled and you will have to add the required amount in your cash ledger before proceeding further. Now that we have added the required amount in the cash ledger, click these buttons to review all details once again before filing. Thereafter, select the declaration checkbox and the name of the authorized signatory from the drop-down list. Click the File GSTR 9 button. Click Yes on this warning pop-up. Submit application page is displayed. Click the File with DSC or File with EVC button for system verification to file the return. After successful verification, this page gets displayed with updated status as Filed. Also, in this green message, the acknowledgement reference number is displayed, which will be sent to your registered email and mobile as well. Click the downloaded GSTR 9 Excel button to download the filed form GSTR 9 in Excel format. Also, from here, you can click this Click Here hyperlink to directly navigate to form DRC03 to pay additional liabilities, if any. Let's go back to Form GSTR 9 page. From this page also, you can scroll down to download filed form in PDF and Excel format using these buttons. Here's the final PDF of the Form GSTR 9 that we have filed. It's that simple.